is what I call a Google Plus Hangout. And I'm happy to answer your questions at any time. So, hello everyone. Oh, I don't know. Oh, do you know what? I don't even have a clue how to work this thing. This is a disaster. Um, all right, so anyone who's watching this now on, on YouTube, uh, feel free to say hi, leave a comment. Um, you lot probably got fed up the first time around I was on here, so uh, you probably don't want to go on again. But um, I've got a few things that, that I wanted to show you. There's a, a new a new hoodie that uh, I uh, purchased recently, which is a uh, an Under Armour hoodie. I uh, will show you that. Okay, so Under Armour. Um, make a new type of hoodie called, or new fabric called Storm. Um, now the fabric is actually water resistant, so the water beads up um, on the fabric. So um, for me as a coach, working out in the rain, um, it's perfect. Um, bought this myself for about forty-five pound, um, and I actually like wear it a lot, and it's really warm too. So uh, it's called Under Armour Storm fabric. It's really great, so you should try that. Um, also, I bought some Pele Sports. I've just lied there. I lied there to you. I was given from Pele Sports some new um, some new trainers. You see that? Okay. Um, so it's kind of like a a live unboxing right right now. A live unboxing. All right. So we've got in the box your normal tissue paper. And if you look here, we've just got some plain, pretty much plain black shoes. All right. Now, there's a lot of detail in the sole. Okay, so there's a lot of detail in the sole. Um, let's take these out. So they're quite flexible. So this is the first time you've seen these and the first time I've seen these as well. So uh, they're quite flexible um, in the sole plate. They've got this strange looking... Thing on the heel there, sort of like a, a cushion in, um, but they seem quite wide. They seem quite wide in the top, but as I said, the leather's really nice. Um, I'll probably do a, a product test on these. Uh, they are called the Pele Radium Trainer. Now they're actually retail at ninety-nine pounds, which is a lot of money. I know they do different types, but for a for a trainer. Um, they're, they're a lot of money. Um, I don't know personally if I would buy a pair of these because they're so expensive. But um, but I you know I normally buy Adidas as you've seen before in my Olympic videos. Um, Adidas Salah trainers and and they are like really comfortable. A lot of people ask me what they're like and um, they are very comfortable shoe. So um, so you know I'll try these out and let you know if they are worth the uh, the ninety nine pound. Um, I've got a lot of people from overseas that watch these videos and I can see that and it's like I don't know the currency off the top of my head so uh, sorry about that but it's 99 pounds in English money okay um, so let's have a look I'm gonna have a look at the um, the questions that I've got here uh, okay so magic boots 100 all right you've said that my under 11s team are very small compared to most players in the league. We can see a lot of goals from set pieces. What coaching ideas can you give me? Um, the prime example here would be Barcelona's academy. Um, they, and well, and even if you look at the first team, they're not very tall. But what they do is their belief is that they teach technique and teach uh, their philosophies, teach the way they part, you know, the past, being quick thinkers, um, then. Ultimately, as they reach adulthood, that they will be technically better than the other teams and catch up physically. So they know at their youth level they're going to be battered by um, like the more physical clubs, and they will be beat. And these and these clubs will be very proud to uh, to beat them as well. But um, I would just say stick at just teaching technique at any players and any young players that are small. Just carry on 
working on your technique and um, you know you'll catch up physically in the end and that's all that matters it's the development at the time and you know when they reach 15 16 17 then they can start um, working on other other sides of their game um, here we've got Mr. Artek97 has said, what's your favourite player? Well, who's my favourite player? My favourite player is, um, of all time, um, let me think, uh, I love Zinedine Zidane, um, just watching clips of him. Um, people like um, George Best, um, was an old, even way before my time, but I love watching old clips of him. Um, but... If anyone, if anyone has seen my last video, I, I made a video um, mentioning Copper 90. Uh, it's a football channel that's launched on YouTube. Um, they film with me, and actually I give a lot of questions and answers, more, more detail about my favorite players. But um, in terms of like different parts of my game, I tried to model my crossing and, and uh, free kicks on David Beckham. Um, even had a dodgy hairstyle as well like his ages ago um, and currently you know you can't help but admire Ronaldo and Messi um, they're like they're like different class um, totally different players there's a big debate who's better but they're they're unique in their own way and it's amazing that we've got two world class class players at one time so we should uh, make the most of that um, let's see who else is on uh, right bro I need to improve my skills and how? I don't even know how to say that. Mogeza Moody. That's not long ago. That that question. Um, well, you can visit U, uh, YouTube and go to STR Skill School and practice those tutorials. They might they might help you. But um, but what I would say is it's just practice, 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 and repetition. When you start building up um, a basic level of of skill, then you will start to um, watch things and, and learn them quicker so if you're a beginner you know it's going to take a bit of a while, a while to improve your coordination but um, as I said it's just it's just repetition uh, I know it sounds simple but um, that you know that's pretty much it um, who's my favorite team uh, we've got jam uh, and on jamo NFFC and someone else has said that as well uh, football Three six eight. Um, it's a tough one that because I I support good football. Um, I'm not sitting on the fence, but uh, a lot of people um, support teams re religiously. Um, I mean, I can imagine why sort of people support top clubs for a long time. But you know, I'm I'm I live in an area where there's not many uh, football clubs. Um, the nearest one is about thirty. 30 miles away and then the next one the next big one is uh, um, again even f further than that and um, I guess I guess like you get a change of manager and change of players and you support you know I support the team as a kid because of the players you know and those those players leave um, but I will say that you know I've always been a big fan of Ryan Giggs and um, and how he's played and you know as a pro professional he's played um, for over 20 years for the same club and and also like with Manchester United you know they've had the same manager whether you like Sir Alex Ferguson uh, Sir Alex Ferguson or not you know he's you know he's been there a very long time and um, you know certainly uh, you know there's not many managers that have done that and won that much um, you know normally they get kicked out within a couple of years so um, but yeah so I mean Man United uh, you know Man United are um, a team that I admire, but I like watching good football. So, like watching Barcelona, uh, Arsenal. You know, not before this year mainly, but Ch Chelsea this year have got a great squad of attacking players. Um, so I'm talking sort of Premier League mainly. Um, but you know, again, like Madrid. You know, Madrid have got some great players in their team as well. So you know, I, I like to watch particular players or um, good footballing teams. Um, did I see Zlatan's goal against England? I saw more than one goal. Um, I'll tell you what, I was sitting there with, you know, those who know Leo, my son, uh, we were watching uh, the game and, you know, he it, you know, came up with that chest and volley, which just showed pure class with technique, you know, and, and you know, he's, he's an amazing player and he had great vision for that overhead kick. Um, anyone that followed me on uh, Facebook, which is uh, facebook.com forward slash STR Skill School, um, he, 
he um, you know he obviously scored that great goal, and I mentioned you know if there's any goals harder, you know post your links, and there there are goals that are a lot harder than that. I mean the technique itself, I mean it was great vision and the overhead kick, but you know there's there's other overhead kicks that are a lot harder than that because of the speed of the ball travelling. You know the ball just kind of bounced down and up above his head, you know up above his head. So um, you know it was sort of perfect, it sat up perfect, which which allowed him to do that. But what was good for him was that he knew the situation well and he could read that and that's that's the intelligent part, being able to um have the vision to do it in the first place. So um but yeah he's a great player. Uh, let's have a look. Questions, questions, quench questions, let's have a look. Why aren't you watching I'm a celebrity get me out of here? Um in England there is a show on the telly, but uh, some of these reality shows just do my head in. So uh, I'm not watching that, and I'm talking to you guys. And actually, if you've got that one in the background, you should be focusing on my boring conversation than uh, than the TV. So um, let's have a look. There's a lot of questions about who I support, so I've answered those ones. Um, how to lock my ankle? Um, so that's Whisker Thirty Five. Um, I would just say, you know, you just got to try and keep it firm. What happens is when you try and strike a ball, you know, a lot of people are very floppy with their ankle. Um, so you just got to try and keep it as firm as you can, um, and and just point your toes down. So um, if you were if you were going to strike, just point your toes down to the ground and keep it still, you know. And then when you strike, um, you yeah, know, that's that's kept your ankle locked. Um, so. Show us how to do the Ebra from Mr. Footballer 360. Have I already done that one? Yeah, how to do the Ebra. Um, I'll give it a go. Um, as I said, the, the pictures are not the same as those pictures. So if I, if I fail on the first take because um, I don't quite get it in the right place, then I'm going to be really muddy. So, uh, so uh, I'll, have to, I'll have to see about that. I'll give it a go, though. It'll be a laugh. Um, how do you think someone makes... Right, okay, so FIFA... Toddy, thirty-two. How do you think? What? Sorry. Do you think? Do you think if someone makes? Right, hang on. Right, I'm gonna read it how it is, and then I'll try and answer the question properly. Do you think if someone makes YouTube videos and is very young, fourteen to seventeen-ish range, that they will maybe get spotted by some scouts? Uh, I think if you probably put a montage of your best skills, but actually um, make them more related to the game. Then um, I think I think that someone might notice it. But if you keep posting stuff and you know you're scoring amazing goals, or, or it, it could be someone scores a worldy goal. You know, like it could be like um, Zlatan's goal. You know, and if if you score a goal like that and put it on YouTube, then you know don't see why. I, I've even seen like uh, twelve, like a fourteen month old um, kick a ball into a. Um, I think they kicked a ball into some sort of uh, toy bin or. Um, and it sort of hit the lid and went in, and then they got signed up by a you know a club in their own country, you know. And I think they're 18 months to be fair, but that is a bit ridiculous. But they got signed up, so uh, that was from YouTube. Um, do you know what? I want to know if I've still got people. Just can we just write some questions in the um, in the feed? Because I don't even even know if people are on here or not, or whether you're listening to me. Um, Actually, I'll tell you what I will say. If you just like the uh, video as well, uh, then I will actually see whether um, people are actually liking this or not. Let's have a look. Uh, what do you think about Bundesliga and Dortmund in general? Do you know what? I don't, fo I don't really follow the Bundesliga because, um, you know, if I've got some German fans or Bundesliga fans, then, you know, apologies, but I don't, we don't get the coverage as much here, so... Um, I don't really follow uh, that league in particular. We do have the Spanish league. I mean, when I was young, we used to have the Italian league as well uh, that we used to watch. But you know, if there's any amazing goals I've seen scored, I do, I do try and keep an eye on them. Um, can I make professional? I'm 13 and haven't played for a big club yet. Nor being scouted, do I have a chance? And that's Daniel. Hang on, D A N I L E H O. Um, well, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, I was. I think I said it before um, that 
you can go into an academy at a later age, so 15, 16, um, or a youth system within a pro club, and actually be more likely to play for the first team because of that, um, because you've been spotted at that later age rather than being spotted at eight or nine years old. Um, a lot of young, talented kids sort of, sort of um, come out of the system. You know, it's a very small percentage that do make it anyway, but, um, you know, there, there's a lot of pros that have turned pro late. You know, I, I had a friend, you know, I've got a friend that um, turned pro for a club near me called Ipswich Town Football Club. They're a championship club, one step below the Premier League. And um, he, you know, he um, turned pro at 23 years old. Um, but that was down to hard work, you know, looking after his body, you know, eating the right things um, and concentrating on his football. And um, I would say never say it's too late because it's not. Um, so, you know, 13 is still young, but you just got to keep working hard. You know, you've got, you've got to keep practicing with your technique and, and working hard and being in the right place at the right time. So, um, yeah, just sort of, uh, you know, keep working at it. That's my, that's my advice to any footballer. Just keep working hard and then you should make it. Um, Alan Morris, are you going to play for a club? Um, if anyone followed my journey, uh, over my YouTube career, I, I tore my ACL, uh, which is my anterior cruciate ligament and my medial ligament and damaged cartilage in my knee. Um, so I had to have a knee reconstruction and um, after my surgery in December 2010, um, I wasn't allowed to kick a ball properly for nine months. I, I risked injury because of YouTube and to try and keep you guys happy. But, um, but yeah, I, I, I was struggling big time. and. Um, I don't think I'd ever risk playing competitive football again because that means my career would be over as a football coach if I really damaged myself again and certainly I wouldn't carry on making a YouTube video. So, um, I, you know, I had some comments on the last live hangout that, that I made that um, obviously before it messed up about, you know, I need to strengthen the muscles in my legs. Actually, they're right. I do need to strengthen the muscles in my legs. I lost, I lost a lot of muscle mass um, from the injury and because of the way my, my knee um, is working at the moment, it's still not great. Um, I find it hard to, to get to the gym and work and, and that's why there was like a, a million and one fat comments over the last two years. But I'm not, I'm not fat, I'm just, I'm just a little bit overweight. Not upset at all. Um, okay, Messi or Ronaldo, as I said, uh, that's Davy Draper. Totally unique players. Um, Messi is is a good role model for kids to do the basics and keep the basics simple and do the same thing over and over again. Uh, Ronaldo is more difficult to imitate because of his skill level so high. Um, but he's a extreme. You know, he's an athlete and he's you, he's somebody that's really worked at his game to get where he is. Um, so they're two different, com completely different players. But you know, at their best, they're frightening. And I don't think we've ever seen two players of that level playing in the same league uh, or the same, you know, sort of same era. Um, it's frightening. You know, even Ronaldo's last years at Man United, um, you know, he, he was just scoring for fun. But even now in La Liga, you know, those two are, are competing all the time. So they're always setting new records, which is great to see. Um, do we need specific breathing techniques while running from Whisker 35? Um, to be honest, it's not it's not something I've ever really thought about when I, uh, when we're running. But I mean, some people say inhale through your nose and out through your mouth. Uh, the problem is when you use different energy systems, um, such as anaerobic and aerobic systems, when you're sprinting, um, they say you know you're not really breathing at all. You know if you're doing a um, you know, a short sprint, then you're not really breathing. Um, but when you're doing uh, aerobic exercise, so it's for longer periods of time, you know, obviously you're, you're breathing in that time. So, you know, when you get times to rest, take deep breaths. Um, but, you know, I guess everyone's different. You know, I, I haven't really looked into it too much, but that's something I will look into. Um, uh, uh, Mass 5290. How do you see USA football going in the future? Oh, um, in, into the future, contender or pretender? Um, it's a funny one, really. I think if like, the USA like work on their, um, I think if they work on their like skill level as players, 
you know, you're going to have like a great squad. Like Landon Donovan is someone who's who's a, you know, he's quite, you know, he's good. You know, he's a good player and he can score vital goals for uh, for the USA. But um, but what the USA have done well is they normally have a good team spirit or that fighting spirit to come back and and do well. Um, but I don't know, like as I said, they're such a big nation, you know, such a big country or a nation with states, then, you know, they've got the volume of players if they actually start playing more to, to um, you know, do well. But, um, oh, no. What's happened to my Hangout? Something's happened to my Hangout. Oh, no. Oh, I'm back again. Hello. <laughs> oh, shocking. Been talking to myself so I look like a donut. Um, right, okay. Uh, yeah, so I was saying about the USA, um, they've got such a big country that actually, with the population the size of it is, they should be able to do well. They've done well in previous competitions. Um, I can only see them getting better if they actually um, put a lot of investment in the youth youth system. Um, but, you know, that's each their own on that, that subject. Uh, do, 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 do. Right, Alex FG Football ninety eight. Have you ever had an Achilles tendon injury on your heel? Yes, um, not a major one. Uh, it can be a bit of a pain, but I'd say that any injury that you get, uh, you have to make sure you rest it um, and follow the steps. If it's a new injury that whatever you have, um, you must rest it, then ice it. And then put a bit of pressure on it with the ice and elevate it normally above your heart to stop blood flow to it. That's when you first have it. And then what you need to do is you need to maybe see a physio or someone or a doctor um, to to give you advice on rehab. Um, but um, as I said, any injury, if it's serious, it's going to take you you know quite a few weeks or maybe months to recover. And here's a big thing: if you don't feel right, don't play. Um, I played when I didn't feel right and got injured quite often, so that was my career over. Um, let's have a look. Um, okay, Adaziak, Adaziak uh, has said, "What's the best way to score? Go for placement. Go for placement." Um, I, it depends on the situation. I've made two videos recently on one how to improve power and another one um, was tips, um, just sort of quick tips um, on how to score goals. Um, I mean, to be honest, if you're not that far out from the goal, you know, it is basically passing the, the ball into the net. Um, I haven't covered finishing from crosses yet, but normally the power is on the cross, so you just kind of just try and bounce the ball into the, the open net. But what I've said is a big thing is just disguising your shot. Sometimes if you have a big back lift and you lift your leg up quite high, um, then you know the goalkeeper knows the shot's coming. So just try not sometimes to have a big back lift and maybe like pretend to shoot and then score or um, don't show them that you are shooting and just disguise that shot by being quite clever by poking the ball in the goal or, or just leaning one way and passing the other. So um, the placement's good. And if you're out further out, then obviously you need a bit more power to beat the goalkeeper. Um, someone has said here, good one. Obviously they don't like uh, the uh, the live chat, but as I said, I'm new to this. So And, I, and, and as you see on this Google Plus Hangout, um, you've just got me underneath myself but there's loads of space there, and if anyone wants to uh, get in the room and actually physically ask me questions in person, um, then then you know do that because um, I would like more people in the room. So that means I'm not actually talking to myself. I know I'm talking to you guys, but it actually feels like um, I'm talking to myself right now. Uh, right, Burgo Two TV. Why do English FA have rule? like only rank 70 plus countries can play in England. Um, I don't know if that's actually an FA rule. It might just be a FIFA rule where they can only play certain teams, but um, I think we should actually play teams that are 
plus 70 because we're struggling at the moment. <laughs> so, so we actually need the confidence boost of playing other teams. So, um, yeah. Ah, uh, 70 plus. Oh, sorry, I misread your question. So my jokes backfired on me. Um, yeah, I'll basically answer your question. That's why we play them, because we need it. Um, uh, let's have a look at some more questions. Who are your favourite YouTubers from Robster77777? I've got double vision, so I don't know if I've said too many sevens there. Um, right, okay, so I think... Um, do perfect a class channel. I met them in London. Um, again, you can look at my channel uh, for the video I made with Do Perfect. We made a couple of trick shots. Um, they were very off the cuff trick shots. Like we were filming something else, and then we just decided to put the cam, you know, put the camera down, or you know, film and just film uh, Tyler throwing the ball at me. So I kept, you know, caught it in my knees or hitting the um, the bin. Uh, you know, we hit the bin. Um, sorry, hit the bottle of the bin. Um, so I do like do perfect. Football wise, there's some new channels happening. Um, you've got Copper Ninety. I just film with very funny, uh, but it depends on your sense of humour or you know. If, obviously, if you sp can only speak English, then you know. Uh, sorry, if you can only speak English, it's good for you. But if you can't speak English, then it's no good because um, uh, you probably won't get the humour. Um, I'm trying to think who else I watch. I don't know. I'm just so I answer so many comments and stuff on my own videos. I don't get really get to see many of us, but I obviously um, support like online soccer academy. Um, you know they've uh, you know they do some great stuff as well. Um, and I just generally try and find clips that are just funny like on YouTube. So not necessarily YouTubers in general, but just funny clips. Um, so yeah, sorry if I can't be a bit more helpful on that one. Um, my question, are you going to make next live stream? Uh, if you like this, I'll do it again. So uh, go to Facebook forward slash STR School School or uh, if you go to um, twitter.com forward slash STR School School, you can actually find, um, yeah, you can find... Um, out whether um, I can find out whether I oh, do you know what I'm trying to read comments and I'm actually getting distracted. If you go on those two, you can actually find out. Um, start again, Steve. If you go on those, I will find out whether you like it or not. You know, this is live, so anything can happen, and it's going wrong. I, I feel like it's going wrong, but no one's actually telling me what's going on. Uh, I'm a pro, and I play for Sh uh, Shamrock Rovers. Gabriel free kick H free kicks HD cool. Well, I, actually, I would like to know how many pros are actually watching my channel. Uh, that would be quite cool to know. Um, and obviously, if the videos help or not, um, there must be one video that helps at least. USA did beat Spain prior to the World Cup, yeah, and and that is Maz five two ninety. Actually, yeah, it's a tough one. Yeah, Spain, uh, USA were yeah, obviously good, but I don't know whether Spain turned it on. They'd obviously turn it on for a, a proper game, but um, you know they they won the, the Euros, they won the World Cup, and then the Euros again. So they're obviously one of the best nations in the world of a certain generation. Uh, how to get players noticed by professional coaches by skill level or by more goals? Danny Lopez says that. Um, it just depends on your position. I would say um, coaches look for, uh, or, or scouts uh, will look for somebody that's very consistent that doesn't make mistakes. So you've got to cut your mistakes out. That's vital. Um, another thing um, is just showing, you know, maybe showing something special. So if you're right, you know, right or left midfield, you know, can you take a player on and get across? People like to see end product. So if you're if you're doing a skill, please make sure that you make a pass or you know it's a complete pass or you get your shot on target because if you don't do that then um you know you've got you know you know you're not going to look great you know it might be good that you've done the skill or you're of your you know you've done a panner against the player or something but um if you don't get your shot on target then you know then you just look bad so um yeah, so make sure you've got an end product to anything you do. And as I said, if you continue to you know, play well, um, people are going to know you as a good player and you know, and as your name gets spread around, then someone's going to snap you up. Um, let's have a look. 
what drills can I do to improve my weak foot? Um, and have a look at the ball manipulation skills that I've got on my channel. Um, that you know, you kind of work with both feet. So uh, if you work with both feet, then you're going to improve your left foot, but just, or your weaker foot. So just make sure that you just practice with your weaker foot um, and spend time on it. And and people forget, like they sort of you know, let me just sort of stand up here. Um, so what what they do is they kind of like. Um, when they shoot, they're sort of facing one way when they shoot, but they kind of forget, um, you know, they forget to turn their body shape and mirror what they were doing. So what you've got to think is actually, well, if I'm facing this way to shoot with my right foot, you know, I've got to face the other way now to shoot with my left foot. So it's just basically mirroring, you know, what you do. And my tip is just to slow things down with your weaker foot. You know, take your time with it, and then as you improve, you just build things up and go faster. So uh, that, that's a load of tips for you. Um, do you know what? I'm hoping people don't watch this back and like click off all the really bad bits because I'm coming out with some good answers now. Um, EVZ, Eves S100 says, You rock. Thanks. <laughs> uh, Louis Brake, good job. Cheers. Um, have you ever heard about CSKA Sofia or something about Bulgarian football? I know where it is, but I, again, I don't watch it. And, uh, I'm, and I am going to check it out. I am going to check it out. Um, someone else has said, have you ever played futsal? At the start of this video, I mentioned the trainers that I got from Pele Sports. Radium trainers that I'm going to test out in another video, so look out for that. Um, they're very plain, I know. They are leather. They're okay. They're quite cool, actually. But I wouldn't pay the £99 that they have actually said because I'd rather buy something like Adidas Top Salad that I use. Um, but yeah, these are futsal trainers. I teach a lot of futsal. In this country, in England, we don't really play that much futsal, so it wasn't available to me when I was playing. But I'll tell you now, I probably would have played it, and my skills probably suit futsal maybe better than the normal game because I would just get a two-footed challenge if I do something crazy on the pitch. So um, that, that's that. Um, have you ever had offers to play for a professional club? Again, uh, I've had scouts come and watch me. Uh, in this country, if you're a small player, you've got no chance um, or you didn't have any you know, much of a chance unless you were scoring like hundreds of goals in a season. Um, I had a chief scout watch me once from a football club and that all they said was he's a good player but he's too small you know and as I said if they'd have maybe um, yeah if they'd have maybe given me a chance then you know I might prove myself but you know um, you never know someone has said here uh, that's one two three Mo boy again I think I answered one of your questions already does green tea burn fat I hear because uh, there's something in the way there. I hear a lot of uh, that doesn't really make sense, but I'm not fat or anything. It says um, okay. Green tea uh, obviously has good uses. Um, tea also has caffeine in it, which is not great unless you hydrate yourself with some water. All right, but um, but I will. I'll tell you what I'll do. I will get a nutritionist to sit in with me and we can answer some nutrition questions. And I think that'll work. Um, greetings from Turkey. Hello to everyone who is in Turkey right now. I'll tell you what, leave comments. Tell me where you're from. I want to know where you're all from. That was Berza Keba or Seba. It depends how I pronounce the C. Um, but he's from Turkey, so or she, I don't know, I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, let me know where you're from, and I will say hi. Um, who do you think will win the North London derby? Oh, okay, so uh, one flex Alex one. Both sides are good. Um, I've actually got Jermaine Defoe in my dream team, so I want him to score. <laughs> um, so. Uh, and I've also, and mind you, I've also got Jenkinson as my right back, so it's going to be a tough one for that game. Um, so they're in my dream team. But I, do you know what? I'm going to go with an Arsenal win. Just, but it's going to be a good game. 
All right. Um, what is your favourite soccer boot? Um, I kind of prefer like Adidas boots, but actually trying a few different ones out lately. This, what you'll find is with like the Adidas F50, they're a different fit to the Adidas Predator. You see, and the Predators have changed a lot. Um, you know, copper. Um, sorry, I nearly said copper ninety there. That's a channel that I've, I've worked with. Um, sort of uh, copper mondiales. Uh, Adidas copper mondiales are lovely boot as well as Puma Kings um, or even the Tiempo. So those kind of like leather boots I do I do prefer. So um, yeah, they're boots that I like and would recommend and they sort of seem to last a long time as well apart from these uh, synthetic boots. Um, just going to refresh that so I can see what's going on. Uh, I'm from Bulgaria. So is Berbatov. You are right. And that's Nixan Prod. Um, great player. Uh, didn't reach his full potential at Man United. Great at Tottenham as well. Uh, hopefully has a good time at Fulham. Um, but yeah, great player. Uh, so it's, uh, I mean, why players below is so many ranking? Can't play. Okay. Berber 2 TV. Am I getting this question right? Are you saying that teams that are between 1 and 69 in the FIFA rankings can't play in England because if that is so I don't know why that is but it's probably because we are, have a weak team and we can't win games at home um, simple as that I, I don't know I'm just joking Nike are too narrow for me I wear Adidas um, that's Mike Clinton hello Mike All right, mate. Um, do you know what I think it's just the type of boot like if you're wearing if you've got um, Mercurial vapors or something like that. They might be too narrow, but you'll probably find that the the uh, CTRs or the total nineties are a bit wider. So just maybe have a look at that. Um, but Adidas do come up small, so um, so I don't know. Personal preference with any boot, I guess. But um, each each boot has a different style of shoe. So heritage boot or speed or whatever. So just look into different ones. Um, da -da 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 -da. How far did you get in soccer? And I'm not even going to pronounce that username. Z O M O M G W T F G G B A B I. That's a long one, isn't it? Right. How far did I get? Um, I didn't quite make pro, but between the ages of 17 and 19, I played full-time kind of academy football um, for a college. In our in our setup, it was quite new at the time. Um, we had we had players that um, came from previous academies and it's kind of like a second chance of uh, making it pro and some of them did such as the player that played for Ipswich um, so we left at 19 but obviously it took a few years before he turned pro um, but I I played in the squad that won a national cup final so we're the best school and college in the country uh, at the time our college also um, played against the uh, home nation, so uh, we we beat the Welsh champions seven one. So we were a good side. Um, I scored two goals in that game actually, um, and then we got beat on an un neutral ground uh, against another English team. But we should have really made the final. But um, but yeah, I mean, I played full time football for for two years. So we trained every day and. And I got a good education from the coach that was working with us, who ended up working for Norwich City, and you know he's doing decent things for himself. Um, but but yeah, I mean, I, I think I just got injuries at the wrong time, and and I actually quit football playing real competitive at 20, and that was about you know that's 10 years ago. So um, you know who knows where I'd have got if I'd have carried on, but I. Uh, I carried on with my coaching career, so um, I'm happy because I'm sitting here in front of you, talking, hopefully, no nonsense. Um, hi, Steve. I'm from Holland, Calax 03. I was there in Amsterdam not too long ago, coaching some kids from an international school. Um, great facilities, better than what we've got here. Um, obviously, look after your young players in that country and produce some great footballers, and obviously... The topic at the moment is Latan um, play for Ajax and look where he is now. Say no more. Um, 
Yeah, someone said, could I have been a pro footballer? Um, do you know what? Some of these usernames are so hard to say. Um, I, do you know what? I, I, um, I think I could at certain periods in my career. You know, um, as I said, a lot of people physically grew more than me because in, in one age group, um, let's say I'm a ten year ten year old, um, you can have um, you, know, you can have players with a four year age difference in develop physical development. So it's quite a big thing, really. Like, there's an old video you'll find on my channel that's um, that says "amazing goal" uh, from me, and I was nine years old at the time, and I scored from the halfway line. And you know, I had I had potential there, and I always had the character to want to uh, learn and improve myself. But the other thing that was decent about me is I would I would um, sort of grow within my environment, and some players are good at that. They can go somewhere and actually sort of learn how to play within the environment and then become better than other players. So, um, you know, I think I, I think that at certain periods I could have made it, but then there was other times where I wasn't playing as good as others. Um, okay. Someone's from Northampton, not too far from me. Hello, Walid Nurestani. I've probably said that wrong as well. I'm, you know, I'm rubbish with names. I can't talk to you and ask your name. I'd, I'd rather ask your name in person. How would you rate the Predator LZ overall? Uh, it's a nice boot. It's definitely a nice boot. Um, I did a review on the original Predator, um, which was released in 1994. And the reason why the Predators worked is because they had these crazy like fins on them. And um, you, know, you do see a real swerve in power difference, whereas the new Predators, you don't even see that um, at all. But... I think it, it can be a little bit gimmicky, but I think there's there's not much difference between the Predator and the F50, to be honest. So, um, yeah, so, you know, it's personal preference yet again. Um, do, 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 do you know what? I'm probably going to dread looking back at this. Um, which player was it at Ipswich? Um, so that was Ander0052. He didn't play, he didn't play too long. Um, he's now playing at Grimsby, a guy called Ian Miller. Check him out. He's actually on my videos. Uh, I can't remember if it's this time last year or two years ago. He appeared on one of my videos uh, teaching defensive headers at his old club. Uh, he's on loan, loan at Darlington. He's club captain there as well later on. But, um, but yeah, I don't know. Just check him out. Have a look. He's a defender. He scored some good goals, actually. Um, which would you rather be, Greek or Susan Boyle's husband? <laughs> Stephen Ryan. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to answer that. Um, okay. Do you like Luis Suarez? I tell you what, he's got a lot of haters, but he's actually someone that that works really hard to win the ball, and I admire that. You know, he, you know, he gets accused of diving. Actually, some of the times he did get knocked down, but the way he throws his hands back and stuff makes it look like that he's. Uh, it does make it look like he's diving for the referee. But um, I would actually say he's a class player, and you've got great things coming from him. So if you are a Liverpool fan, you know, hope he doesn't move because he's going to be a good player for you, and he already is actually. But some of the things he can do and the way he can score goals is pretty incredible. So I said I admire good players. You know, I'm not talking about personalities. Um, the way they play, and actually, um, he is he is a very good player. Um, dun, 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 dun. Can we meet and teach me personally in England? Uh, uh, it depends. Do you know what? I would love to do a fan meet up with people to actually talk to you and meet you in person. I know everyone's widespread, but um, if anyone's in England and you'd like to do that, leave a comment. Again, I'll read these back because uh, I'd love to do something like that. So, yeah, just if you want to meet up, I will. But if I'm ever in another country, I'll do the same thing. Uh, I know I've got good followers, sort of, uh, um, you know, I've got a lot of Indian, Malaysian, Indonesian. Uh, well, actually, it's, it's global. Uh, YouTube is everyone sort of watches from every country. So, um, as I said, it's unlikely that I'm going to go there. More likely to meet people in England, but never say never. Hopefully it happens. Um, let's have a look. More questions. Tips as a centre back. Um, 
I think I'll save that for another day, but um, obviously a centre-back has to be able to tackle, read the game well. Um, I would just work on your aerial control and your passing, so distribution, so passing from the back. Um, and, and just, as I said, it, there's certain types of recovery runs that I haven't, you know, things like that I haven't covered on my channel yet, um, but um, you obviously need to work on your recovery runs because um, that would help a lot. Um, but, that's, but te yeah, technique's king for any position, really. Uh, I'm injured on 13. I'm out for six weeks, and I'm willing to work hard as I can. I want to be able to say I've been a pro. What workouts drill should I do to improve my skills? Chips on a Wednesday. Now, if you want to be a footballer, you might have to cut the chips out. All right, but um, let me let me think about that one quickly. Uh, it depend again. It's like very general. It like just depends on your position. But you've got, as I said, you know, skill. I would say master a couple of skills that you can use to get yourself out of a situation. So if you're in the corner, uh, the side of the pitch, you know, and you're running up the line um, to beat a player, you might want a single step over to beat the player quickly and go. Um, if you're in the middle of the pitch, you know, you might need, um, you know, a different type of move. Um, so it could, could be like a cut or a hook turn um, just to manipulate and move out of the way and shield the ball from players. Um, but again, it's, you know, with skills, it just depends on your position. Um, but you need to improve your all-round technique with your shooting. Got to get shots on target. It frustrates me how some players can't cross the ball very well. Um, so I'd work on your crossing. Um, um, because, you know, if you can pass the ball, then you can play pretty much anywhere. Um, what else have we got? Hi, Steve. I'm 25 and I had my ACL fixed. Do you have any tips on returning to football? See, dog, 21. Um, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I said it took, it, it's at, you know, the, I wasn't allowed to kick a ball for nine to 12 months properly. It was really frustrating, but I had to, they had to take some of my, um, hamstring away, my muscle to replace my ACL. Um, and that was the thing that took a long time for recovery. Plus I didn't have great healthcare, so it took me longer. I would say I wasn't ready to play for 18 months. All I'd say to anyone with a knee injury like that is be prepared for a long uh, recovery. Work hard in in um, increasing you know muscle mass around the knee uh, to support that. But um, as I said, I wasn't I wasn't ready. It's going to take you about six months before you can even try and twist and turn. So be you know be careful um, and don't push it because if you push it, you're going to do yourself more risk. So yeah, just be yeah just be careful. Uh, Mike Clinton, I can say your username. It says I'm enjoying you trying to say these usernames. LOL. Uh, yeah, I'm proper struggling with some of these usernames. <laughs> um, struggling. Fenerbahce. Hi Steve. I love your vids. Cool. Do you know what? I, I would mind actually live, uh, moving uh, moving to Turkey. I'd like to visit Turkey and go on holiday. Uh, maybe I can visit the club one day. If you've got any contacts, let me know. Um, as I mentioned before, or tried to mention before, if you visit twitter.com forward slash str school school or youtube.com forward slash str school school or facebook.com uh, forward slash str school school, they're all str school school, uh, visit them, leave a comment, follow me, that you can, you can talk to me at any time and I will answer. I will say this though, if you tweet me, um, so go on Twitter, I will actually reply to you quicker on that. That is a that is a little bit of advice for you. Uh, what is your favourite Thanksgiving meal? Do you know what we don't have Thanksgiving in England unless you're American or related to uh, American people. So I'm not really entirely sure. If you have turkey, then it'd probably be turkey, and that's a good source of meat for um, footballers as well. A good source of protein. Um, but we sort of just have Christmas meals uh, with roast potatoes and stuff. So it's normal traditional roast dinner for us here. Um, is everyone getting bored of this? Look, can you just leave a comment now and just say like, are you getting, you know, I'm bored of this, I'm going or something. Just let me know if you're going because I'd like to know. And also leave a, uh, you know, like, like the, uh, the video down below and, um, and just tell me if you uh, actually like this or not. If you don't like it, 
then dislike it. But I don't actually want you to dislike it. Don't dislike it. Just if you like it, like it. Uh, that would be quite cool. Um, do you watch the Futsal World Cup in Thailand? That was from R Roydam 100. Um, do you know what? I love Futsal. I didn't get to to watch it enough. I don't even know if it's still on at the moment. I do you know what? I haven't got a clue. But I've sort of been out of my bubble going to like YouTube and um, you know and filming and stuff that I, I haven't even been had a chance to to watch it. I know I posted on my Facebook and Twitter that I I watched one of the games and it was class, you know, watching the games. But um, but yeah, I'm a, I do love watching futsal because you know it's so fast paced and you see some great technique and skill from players. Um, anyone who hasn't watched futsal, I suggest that you watch it because um, it is quality. I'm 12, and is it unhealthy for me to work almost every day and train every day? I have real Oakland football training Wednesday, Sundays, and I'm planning to train after this uh, from It's a That's how I pronounce that name. That's bad, isn't it? Um, do you know what? I? It depends how, much, how hard you're training, but you actually need some time to, to recover. Do you know what? If you're actually practicing and you can't do something, and you're and you're finding it really hard to learn a skill, take a break from it for a couple of days. And I guarantee, when you go back to it, you'll probably do it straight away. It's crazy. Like we were shooting a um, a, a video recently of me teaching someone skills, and they just they were doing it okay to start with, and then they were messing up, and then they seemed to get worse. And we just stopped for half an hour, and then. You know, I made them take a break, and then we went back on it, and they got it straight away. It's, sometimes you just need a little bit of a break from it, um, so that's my advice. Um, big happy face from Ross McDonald. Yeah, something like that. That looks a bit dorky. Sorry. Um, <coughs> that beast has said, has said, "Hi, Steve. I broke my leg in the summer, and I need some fitness help, please." It will be much appreciated as I'm upset due to not playing. Look, uh, it's devastating. I I thought my YouTube career was over when I done my knee, and the injury is very serious. You've you've broken a bone. Your bones normally re hit. They will heal stronger, um, hopefully. And um, when it does heal, it shouldn't affect the rest of your leg. So just make sure you have your recovery. Get back to light training and. And don't push yourself back into it. It's going to be a psychological um, thing for you. So you're going to be thinking, oh, I can't make a tackle or whatever. Um, just just, just go into it slowly. Build your confidence up and then you'll be playing again. So don't worry. You will be playing again. Um, just be prepared. It will you know, be a little while out. I guess you'll be in a cast for about six weeks. Um, but then just, just strengthen the leg up again and you'll be fine. Don't worry. Um, do, 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 do. Neymar versus Ronaldo. Now that's now that's a challenge. Um, I Ronaldo is physically stronger. Uh, is a probably a better player at the moment. Neymar. Um, that was from Daniel Tranberg because I can pronounce that one. So I'm saying that. Um, I think I think Neymar is like world class as well. He comes up with some. Very imaginative things. You can kind of see um, Ronaldo practices the skills and then uses them in the game, whereas maybe Neymar just does things on the spur of the moment. So um, he's a very special player. And and I think one of the goals, oh, who is it against? You can tell me, Fl Flamenco, is it? I'm not sure. Um, he scored that like wonder goal where he kind of rolled the ball across his body and then tapped it past the defender. I mean, it wasn't and it wasn't a skill that was planned, or even I can probably teach. I, I mean, I could, but it was his instinct that done so well with that that goal. And he just he I think he probably tried a trick and it wasn't working. And he just his feet were so quick that he just managed to nudge it past the um, past the player, and um, obviously he scored that great goal. But yeah. Um, Neymar and Ronaldo, both great players. Neymar will be up there soon with Messi. I think I think Neymar's probably got to play in Europe to be compared because he's obviously in a different country. You know, if he's playing in the same league, then you will know for sure where he's good enough. Um, and... 
Santi Corzola, great player, small player, great player. Um, he was in my dream team, took him out, and then he scored. Got it. Points lost. Um, what freestyle trick shall I learn after around the world? Chips on sun, uh, on a Wednesday, you know, I'm not, yeah, let's hope. Let's hope you, it is just a Wednesday and not all day, of the, uh, every day of the week. But um, yeah, around the world, around the world is like a great trick. Just learn different stalls. Like, you know, I mean, you've got to combine things. So you've got to obviously learn to do keep you uppies. Um, you know, I'm not a freestyler myself, but speaking to freestylers, it's just working on keep you uppies, learning to um, stall or balance the ball on your foot, your neck, different body parts. And then mastering one trick at a time. So around the world is a good one. You know, maybe go for a double, or uh, maybe try and learn the around the world a different way, because then you can start combining those things. Um, even maybe give around the moon a try, which is uh, you know, sort of ball on your neck and and going around the ball that way. But have a look. We'll just float around my channel and look at some skills on there. They're fairly easy ones. Um. <laughs> Bird's eye four two two. I don't know if I'm going to answer that, but uh, no, I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> uh, the beast, thanks for the help. I really appreciate appreciate it. And uh, now, do you know what? I, do you know what? I'd rather talk to a handful of people that actually appreciate it than a lot of people. But obviously, I'd love to have a lot of people to talk to. Um, so. So it just means I'm hitting a wider audience just at once. Stevie, oh, Toby Lacko. Stevie, do you play football every day? I coach for a living and I've always got a ball at my feet. I will say this, when I, when I, um, when I sort of have the ball, I don't practice enough as what I should do or what I did when I was younger. When I was 17 to 19, I mentioned I trained every day and I, I was, you know, I was super fit. Um, then um, and my my skill level was really high at that point, but uh, I think it's just a case of practice. And if I practiced enough, I'd I'd get back up there. But um, but yeah, I'm always kicking a ball. And obviously, when I make a video, I'm I'm doing that. But I'm not in a physically good state as what I, I should be. Um, I'm struggling with the hocus pocus. Any help? So a lesson. One minute ago, it says here, um, hocus pocus. Right, okay, it's a bit, it's a bit of a funny one. Obviously, you need to push the ball or slide the ball across, and then use the outside of your foot to come in front of you. You stand the leg. My advice is actually stand more in front of the ball when you do it. So a lot of people will do the trick and have their foot right next to the ball. As you're about to do it, step a bit further, um, or even just step across the ball. So you're kind of already. You know, you haven't even moved the ball, but you've kind of brought it behind your leg already. So my tip is, um, uh, if and let me just show you. So if you've got the ball, okay, what you need to do is you just need to step at an angle so um, the ball is behind you in a certain way, and then you can then just manipulate the ball really easily. Um, so don't have your foot beside it; have it in front at a diagonal, if that makes sense. But have a look at my have a look at my. Um, uh, the Hocus Pocus by One Matter, uh, that one. Have a look at that, um, and you'll see a bird's eye view of the skill, and that will show you. Okay. Um, what food should I eat for football? Chip on Wednesday? Is it you again? Oh, come on. Right, he's coming up with some good questions. Um, I, yeah, the day before, the day before, um, you can have some carbohydrates, so pastas. And stuff. Try and avoid too many fats, but some fats are good for you. Um, I'm going to get a nutritionist to pro properly talk to you um, about food, but I would say if you eat proteins like chicken, um, um, turkey, um, sort of white meats, they're normally, you know, they're normally good for rebuilding muscle and stuff like that. But as I said, just yeah, just stick to that um, and maybe. Uh, avoid carbs on a match day, maybe. Um, but it's quite, again, again, it's personal preference. Sometimes I've been told to eat things, and I just don't like those foods, and I, you know, I just don't feel good when I'm playing. But as I said, I'll get the nutritionist in to maybe talk to you about different food types.
You're a great guy, and yeah, my name came from the time when I told the cashier, really, man, chips on a... Okay, I'm just reading that comment out. Yeah. Where is STR School School located? Antonio, 35388. Uh, I'm in England, east of England, a town called Bury St Edmunds. It's a very small town. Um, it's between Cambridge and Ipswich. Um, so have a look on the map. It's in the UK, um, but that's where I'm from. Yeah, it's good. It's a good town. I'm happy with it. Um, what do you think about Andre Villas Boas? We fail or succeed at Tottenham. If any manager is given time and a chance, they will do well. It's like Brendan Rodgers at Liverpool. Everyone's put their faith in him. They're seeing he's playing better football at Chelsea. I don't think the players gave him a chance. Um, he's very. The thing is, um, uh, AVB is very young uh, for a manager. It's just whether they give him a try. Um, don't expect amazing things straight away. But I guess if he was given five years in the job, you'll probably see results. So um, just consider that. Exams versus football. Football is very important, but your yeah, education is important too. Um, there's always time for football. Uh, but just make sure you get your work done. Um, but I kind of like didn't really study too hard, but I made a career out of football. Not everyone does. So, you know, I would say stick to the books. If you're not going to make it as a pro, make sure you get good grades because it's going to give you a better job. But I would rather play football. Messi or Cruyff? Uh, the Savage Revenge. Cruyff was again another great player um, as a coach as well, amazing. But I didn't really get to see him that much when I was younger. Certainly, there wasn't footage available to me, or it wasn't my era. You know, the seventies and that weren't my era. Um, but he was very inventive as a player. Um, Messi. A lot of people that have seen them all, you know, the top players say Messi is probably one of the best players the world the world has ever seen because he is. Um, so unique in the things that he does, you know. He's, um, but you know, I'd have to go for Messi just because I've seen more of him. Who is your favourite freestyle freestyler? Jeremy Lynch or Billy uh, Billy Wingro or someone else from Shiv Patel? Um, I've worked with Jeremy and Billy, and they're both great guys. Um, I've also seen um, John Farnworth in the flesh and had chats with him. Um, he is a very complete freestyler who you know can do amazing things. But um, Billy and Jeremy are more like they're showmen. They've got uh, got amazing skills and can do amazing things with the ball as well. But um, you know Billy, you know Billy um, and Jeremy also used to play football to a high level when they were younger too. So they they can actually play football as well. But um, but yeah, I'm going to put my faith in the F2 freestylers because they they. Um, you know they've made videos, and we're going to be making videos soon. So actually, keep keep an eye out for those because they'll be class. Um, questions? Only questions, people. I don't even know how many people are watching this. Can you can you just um, can you like just like can you like 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 this with this video? Like it? If you like it, then I'll know you like it. Yeah. What am I talking about, Steve? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm a vegetarian. How can I keep up with football fitness? Um, it's from Burgo Two TV. Do you know what? You can have like nuts and things like that that would actually. Um, yeah, I did say nuts, everyone. I did say nuts. Um, nut, you know, nuts are a good source of protein. There's other ways of finding your protein. So, um, as I said, I'm going to get the nutritionist in and speak to you all. So we'll leave that. I think food tips for another day. Um, Walid Norestani tips for me what would you do if you what? what what would you do if you to do your studies at A level or football mm. there's always time I was at what in my college my college is which are your uh, which are university your college in America is university. Our college is sort of 16 to 19 years of age. Um, 
you know, I was playing football full time and and worked on my studies. There's always time for both. Um, if you're playing football at a high level, then the, you know you can always do half an hour because you you know you only have to train for a couple of hours a day. You know you're not got to do it for for eight hours. I know it's great if you want to be a freestyle footballer. They train for eight hours, but um, but I would say um, you know you've got a time for both. I've already kind of answered that. Um, have you ever worked with Daniel Cutting, DC freestyler, professional football freestyler? That's Mr. Joe Harrison, twelve. No, I haven't. I haven't worked with anyone really outside of the UK or if DC freestyler. I just looked at DC and I didn't get that it was Daniel Cutting. What a joker! <laughs> um, if he's from the UK, I haven't. Uh, if he is from the UK, maybe he can put me in touch. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I don't know who the guy is. Um, right, where are we? Oh, I didn't freeze, by the way. I was just reading a comment. Um, hello from America. Thoughts on our MLS? MLS is not as high as any of the best. Um, it's not as high as any of the best leagues in Europe. Europe is the place to be. And then obviously you've got um, Brazil. Um, you know, Heskey's doing good things in Australia, but that maybe just proves what the Australian league's like. Um, but, um, but the MLS, it's growing. It's going to grow. Um, I don't agree with the system of selection for players. Obviously now players are kind of being brought in as well from overseas or older players from different leagues are going to the MLS. But, it will improve, but um, it's not the top league at the moment, no, by far. Um, where are we? Comments. I want to see. You suck. Now, <laughs> Calypso free. All right, that's quite clever. Okay, um, this isn't now. I have your attention. Any tips for shooting with the outside of your foot if you can't shoot properly with it? Peace, peace. Um, the um, outside of the foot is a difficult one. You kind of want to, uh, two ways of doing it, um, keep your foot locked flat and aim for more of the complete outside of your foot. Um, you do have to turn your body sideways on and, and get round the ball so you're hitting it on the outside of your, of your foot. Um, so if I was to show you the, uh, the Pele sport shoes that I've, I've got given to me, um, the outside of your, your boot here you can aim for, but um, a Roberto Carlos sort of outswinger, he'd use the, the top of his foot, so you're pointing his toes down to the ground and then um, just hitting the edge of the ball, but across the ball, you know, and, and that kind of creates that, that swerve. So, um, yeah, yeah it's, it's not an easy technique, but you've got to have a lot of practice with it. Um, have you ever been to Ireland? Evs S10. I'm seeing a lot of same names here. Um, I've never been to Ireland. I'd like to go. I'd like to sample some real Irish Guinness. That's what I would like to do. I don't know if that was a very touristy answer, but I would. Um, it seems like a very nice place. Um, so yeah, I'd like to visit, but I haven't visited. That was my answer for that one. Um, have you ever watched Thai football or know any player from there? Dark Raving 88. I've never watched Thai football. Uh, I think I've seen some clips um, from there. Um, so I don't know of any players. Can you leave a comment and just, um, you know, players that I can check out? Um, but I'll, I've never seen it, so, but I'd like to. Have a, you know, I always have a look at different football from around the world. Uh, what do you think about Neymar, Brendan Harrison? Love Neymar, amazing player, uh, great skills. Um, you know, I've obviously used uh, some of his skills in my videos. Um, the reason why I maybe use his name more than some others is because he's a very popular character, so it drives more traffic to my videos if I use uh, a name like Ronaldo Messi or Neymar. So, uh, so yeah, yeah, but great player, great player. Um, Lewandowski, what do I think of him? Uh, I haven't seen much, uh, heard good things. Um, do you know what? You'd think that I'd know a lot about football. <laughs> I 
maybe I'm getting the wrong questions asked, but if you were talking about um, maybe uh, La Liga or um, currently the Premier League, I watch more of that. Um, but I've probably seen some stuff of his and not really noticed. Um, but but yeah, I'm sure I have. I'm sure he did some crazy trick. Where did he play before? Someone tell me. Did he play somewhere before? Because um, he's in the Bundesliga now, is he? Got a feeling he was somewhere else before that. Uh, is heading a ball dangerous for your brain? I think if there's too much repetition from the ball being a high, a, a, a big, a greater height or speed, it can. But I don't think players have ever had a problem from heading the ball. Just when you head of the ball, um, can you make sure that it's with the sort of hard part where your hairline probably meets? If you bulge your stuff, so you, it's not going to be the right place. But um, sort of normally about here on your head. So don't head of the ball on the top of your head. Um, not too close to your nose because you'll probably break it. Um, but just here. All right. And that, and that sort of normally helps you out. Could I have your take? Okay. Register soccer. Could I have your take on what to do for individual training? Um, can you elaborate and is it are you training someone or you are wanting to personally improve just tell me and i'll answer that question uh, what do you think about right okay uh those those that are actually watching this and it pays to watch things like this because i might give some details away um i do like the free kicker stuff they're doing great things i'm amazed with the stats with their views and their subs they're actually going to uh, very soon they're going to rise above me for subscribers, um, which is which is not a bad thing, but you know they've made they've made a great channel. Um, we are actually going to be making a video together um, soon, so we are collaborating. That is exclusive for everyone here watching this live um, Google Hangout, which is take two, by the way. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's. Um, I'm going to be filming with the the free kickers. So, if you're a fan of STR Skill School and the free kickers, keep an eye out for that. Uh, do you like rugby? I was always too small to take rugby on, but as a kid, I was always quick and I could always take play. I could always run past players easily. But as they physically got bigger and more organised, I was going to get smashed by all the big fat kids. So uh, I gave up. Um, okay, how do you? Uh, right, okay, Brendan Harrison again. How important would you say is the football boot in your overall performance as a player? Um, for me, it has a big impact. Uh, I have to make sure that I have to wear a comfortable boot. Um, it's not a particular brand, like brand, let's say, but just make sure the boot's comfortable. Uh, and durable, so you know, just make sure that um, it allows you to move freely. And you know, as I said, if you feel like you're slipping about um, on the grass or your foot slipping about within the boot, then you know you shouldn't be wearing them. But it does have um, you know decent impact. Um, so just you know, just, just try and find one that fits well. And if it's and his little saying, we say. Um, and I'm going to write in the comments. Uh, oh, and that didn't allow me to write that in the comments. What is it just done? Um, it says, look good, feel good, play good. Look good, feel good, play good. That's a little motto for you. Look good, feel good, play good. So, try that out. Look good. Feel good, play good. If you feel good, you're going to play good. All right? Important. Questions, questions, questions. Okay, hey Steve, what do you do when you're having your bad times in soccer? I'm pretty sure professionals go through it. Is that Memo from Texas, USA? Or Memo? I can read, you know. It's just, it's just. I don't know if there's an accent or anything like that. So, um, yeah. I mean, I think, 
I think like um, yeah, I think like a lot of us go through the psychological sides, and you know, people have, I've talked about the nutritionist, but I'd also like to get a football psychologist in to to talk to you um, with the. Uh, with the psychology in football and sport, it's really important. We train our bodies enough, but sometimes we don't train our brains enough. And um, and really, we need to be prepared for failures. All I'd say is, if you make mistakes in the training ground, slow things down or take your time. Um, if you're making mistakes within the game, so you make a bad pass, make sure whatever you do that your next pass is good, um, and that will just boost your confidence up. So even if it's a short five-yard pass, you're gonna um, you know, you're going to build your confidence back up. If you miss the target, like if you're missing the target of a goal, like um, you know, six times out of ten, then you know everyone's going to get on your case and hassle you. But so if you have a shot and miss it, just make sure you get the next one on target. Because um, if you just cut out your mistakes, then you know that's going to help. Um, so yeah, sometimes just do the simple things as well when you're when things are not going right. Just keep it simple. Um, Hopefully that answers your question. Uh, Elski, Elski, Yuski, Yuski, thirty-nine. Were you a good student? Um, I would say on the football pitch, um, because I wanted to be a pro, uh, I I was a very good student. I I I was the type of player that did everything the coach told me to do. Um, I was the type of player that just worked hard at first at the training ground, never missed a training session. Um, but like there were some players that got favoritism at times just because they were good players. Um, but actually they didn't do so well in later in their later career because they felt like they um, they they couldn't improve. Whereas I I always wanted to get better myself, and if I ever had a setback, I would want to prove the coach or the players wrong. So if they, you know, if I had a bad game and I was dropped, I'd make sure that I tried my best to get back into the team. And my position as well, like a, a wide player, is quite easy if you have a bad game to get replaced. Um, and sometimes, sometimes if if the coach wants to make make a substitute um, during during a match, um, normally to give uh, someone a run out, I'll be the player that comes off because I'm the wide player. It's a no risk position, um, you know, if you're winning the game. So. Um, so I'd always make sure that I'm training hard and working hard to keep my place in the team. So yeah, I was a good student. I'd have to say that. Uh, which free kick specialist that you like the most? Dark Raving 88, Beckham, Janino, uh, Nakamura. Uh, do you know what? I I would say, um, like, obviously Beckham was highlighted when I was a, a young kid, but he's, do you know what? He's very inconsistent with his free kick. Free kicks. Janino, I'd say Janino is probably my favourite free kick taker. Uh, Ronaldo, it was you know obviously with his um, knuckle ball or you know his Ronaldo rocket or whatever you want to call it, um, different gravy. But uh, but Nakamura, like again, what a free kick taker. I'd say he's better than Beckham, and Janino is probably my favourite out of that list. Um, hey. Oh, ADHD it says, can you read this? You're a fag. Tap, tap. If you, you're, you either need to apologise or take that back, otherwise you're getting blocked. Trust me. Okay. Um, there's something about Polski here. Like, I don't speak Polish. Uh, maybe I need to learn some, but... Or, or hold up some subtitles, but this is off the cuff, so I can't really do that. Um, does flat foot affect on playing football? Um, I would say you've got to be on your toes and be ready the whole time. If you're just standing still with your heels on the ground, you, you know you're not going to be able to move for a ball quickly. So yeah, you have to be not on your toes, but just have to keep your heels off the ground sometimes, um, just to be moving around. Uh, is good being aggressive while in the game. Yeah, it's good to it's good to make tackles. Depends on your position. Uh, you don't, you know, in football you don't want to be pushed about. So uh, if you are quite aggressive, I would say control your aggression, but but show people that you know you're not there to be messed with. 
Um, and normally they respect it if you give as good as you get, but don't do anything that's going to get you sent off. Um, oh, ADHD. You're, you're, I've just gone down and read your other comment. You're an absolute joker. Hmm. And I also want to know if you're a boy or a girl. Uh, do, 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 do. I might have to remove that comment because it's offensive. Let's have a look. Do you know what curl I mean? Now, if I've said something rude, obviously I don't. But can you tell me, please? Why so gay? I'm not gay. I'm just I'm just on here trying to answer as many questions as I can. How long have I been on here, by the way? Can someone tell me? Does anyone know how long I've actually been on this live stream for? Because it seems like it's been a very long time. OMG. Right. Right, do you know what? I'm going to take a few more questions and then I'm going to go because I want to save some of these answers for another time. So, um... <laughs> Santa Cazola. Cazola, sorry. You look like him. Sort of. Not quite. Sort of, I guess. It kind of makes me look like I've got a round face for this webcam, but... Um... Yeah, he's a great player though. I wish, yeah, I wish I was playing like him because I'd be playing for Arsenal. Good club. <laughs> uh, chips on a Wednesday. I love that comment. Someone, someone's actually tried to spam your comment. I like to say it's spam, flag it for spam, but it's not spam. Hate is going to hate, but they can't become Steve Roberts the Great. Uh, cool. Cheers. Cheers, Chip on a Wednesday. Chips on a Wednesday. How could I get your name wrong? I've like, answered about 10 of your questions. Uh, do, 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 do. Your tutorials help me a lot. Brian Harp, thank you very much. I hope they help other people. Don't forget to, uh, don't forget to answer um, any of my questions that I've previously left. Uh, John, I'm going to have a look at Twitter quickly and see twitter.com forward slash strschoolschool. I'm just going to see if... Um, Anyone's asked me any questions on there? Uh, yeah, a lot of people have asked for stamina. Do you know what? I'm going to have to make a video about fitness, football fitness, because it's not, you know, it's not a subject that I can just completely cover on here right now. Um, I probably could have covered it over the whole period of this webcam, but um, yeah, not now. <laughs> Is it is anyone actually enjoying this? Tell me. Can can you just leave a comment? Please leave a comment. Now, just right now, just write a comment. Just say I'm enjoying this, Steve, or I like it, Steve, or I hate it, Steve, or I don't know, just anything. And just and don't forget to ask questions as well. But um, I just want to know whether you're actually enjoying this or not. Uh, I answered the question about MLS. Um, so I'm not going to answer it again. Who do you think is better, Oscar or Hazard? Um, I would say Hazard at the moment is a bit more of a complete player. Oscar is going to be an amazing talent. He scored a great goal uh, for Chelsea against Juventus. Um, at the moment, I'd say Hazard. I think um, Oscar's got to get a bit stronger, I guess. He looks quite thin and weak, but we'll see. Greetings from Greece. Question. What's your opinion about Greek football? Because my mind says it sucks. Um, yeah, the league's not as strong anymore, is it? Um, you, know, the, the, you know, in a Champions League, you'd always get a contender um, you know, against the, the teams and you'd always get like top teams being knocked out. So it's not as strong as what it used to be. Uh, obviously, Greece as a nation won the Euros in 2012 through hard work rather than individual players. Um, but, yeah, I can't comment and say it sucks, but it's obviously not as strong as the other European leagues. Um, Birdseye422 says he is not gay. That's correct. I'm not gay. I've got a wife and kids, and I'm a, so I'm a married man. Um, and my kids are... There is a picture, a brief picture I'm going to show you up there. 
What was my two? Okay. I said brief, but you see that? I just want to show you. Make sure you can see it. All right. So I'm a family man. Definitely not. G A Y. Uh, what do I think about African soccer? I'll tell you what. African. There's some great African players. Um, obviously, there's some African players involved um, with Newcastle, and there's a lot in the Premier League, in fact. But um, but like the two strikers, um, Denver Barr and Cisse, like different class. Um, but yeah, they've got some great, powerful um, players. So um, I do rate it. And you know, the African Cup of Nations, you always get some good, you know, get get some good games out of that. Um, yeah, do you know what? <laughs> this username is zero five zero two five two five seven. Did you know that Cristiano Ronaldo is eight hundred and sixty nine days older than Messi, and Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. is eight hundred and sixty nine uh, days older than Thiago Messi, which is Messi's son as well? It's a fantastic stat. What surprised me more was that Cristiano Ronaldo had a son because I didn't even know Ronaldo had a kid. Um, you know, I'll tell my voice is getting a bit sore now. Ibrahimovic or Falcao? I would say Falcao, what a player. But Ibrahimovic has got great creativity, amazing. His skill level is amazing, like probably better than Falcao's. Palcao's goal scoring, his ratio to goals uh, per shot is better than probably all the players uh, in the world at the moment. Um, but I think um, Zlatan has probably just got a, I don't know, he seems lazy at times, but when he turns it on, he's like world class, no doubt about it. No doubt it. No doubt about it. It says here, but the Greeks beat Ireland, so what? Do you say about the League of Ireland? Irish football is dying a slow death. Mary Kelly. Yeah, Ireland hasn't really got a league, has it? I mean, they've got a lot of Irish players in the Premier League. Um, you know, but they're not doing great at the moment. Their best, you know, in the 2002 World Cup, um, they had a great World Cup then. Um, they had some good times, but... Uh, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of kind of going downhill. I think they need to change a manager and something. They need some drastic changes. But they had a good generation of players that have not, you know, that are getting too old now. Um, how old are you, the real creeper? Are you creeping, the real creeper? Um, I'm 30 years old, so I've, I'm past. I'm officially past it. When you when you've passed the 20s, you passed it. All right, so I'm past it. But yeah, I'm 30 years old. Uh, da, 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 da. So look, <laughs> I keep forgetting that loads of people are watching this. It's crazy. Uh, what would you advise a 16-year-old soccer player? I would advise any player to just work the hardest, keep trying to improve themselves, knuckle down. Um, I would say stay away from outside influences if you're playing football. So don't drink alcohol, you know, um, eat the right foods, look after your body, you know, stay fit. Um, as I said, I was very fit as a youngster, but when I stopped playing football in my mid to late 20s, um, I certainly didn't keep myself in a good shape. And, and that's how I got like really badly injured. So just keep yourself in good shape, but just knuckle down. And listen to advice that your coaches give you. You know, if you're not quite doing it, then ask them what you're doing wrong. And, uh, you know, they'll you know, they'd appreciate you asking that. And they should. If they're a good coach, should give you feedback. And that'll help, you know, and listen to the feedback and, and, and improve. Um, do you think Neymar is too greedy? Uh, players, players that are greedy, that have unbelievable skill, are probably... Um, Probably got there because they were greedy. Um, play like play like Messi. Probably dribbled more than what he should have. If he if he was developed in this country, uh, in England, he wouldn't have made it. It would have all been coached out of him. But you've got to let 
someone like Neymar be greedy to learn how to react to different situations and um, try and develop his skills further. But um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, like there's going to be a stage where he won't be as greedy. But I, to the answer is yeah, he's greedy, but um, I'd allow it because he's going to come up with something special, definitely. Um, any foreign languages I cannot understand, so if you can Google translate that, that would be good. Could I still get signed? Mm, probably not because of my medical history and being so injured. Do you know what? I'd love to be signed by a club and, and I reckon I could have an impact coming off the bench and doing a good job. You know, my crossing ability actually, you know, we talk about skills, but my, my passing and my crossing ability is probably the best thing that I've got. Um, and if you look at um, if you look at the video that I recently uploaded, um, which is um, a video that uh, Copper Ninety have filmed for me. Now, right at the end of that video, we saw this kind of like car or like buggy thing drive past, and I um, I just said to the camera, "Shall I hit it?" Because I was about to say to him, "Should we stop?" And then I saw this thing and said, "Oh, should I hit? You know, shall I hit it? Hit the buggy?" And I and I just drilled the ball over the goal and and nailed it. Like that's that's how good like my accuracy normally is. Um, but uh, but yeah, I, I'm, I'd say my crossing and passing is probably better than my skills. But my skills are good. Like don't get me wrong, but um, I'm quite I'm quite good at passing. But you know, I think I could do a job coming out wide and you know taking a player on and getting a cross in because um, that would definitely create goals for a team. Uh, What's more important in hard shots, thighs or calves? Probably power from your thighs and your hamstrings, but but I would say it's ultimately the technique, how you swing, how you connect with the ball. Because you know, I wouldn't say I've got massive legs, but I can actually hit a ball really hard because of my technique. So I'd say your technique's important um, more so than your muscle strength, um, but it does help. Don't get me wrong, it does help. Um, and if you look at my shooting tips video on how to shoot with power, then that you know that um, that gives a little tip where I say step step longer into the ball, which gives you a longer swing. And you know, and that's a tip that people don't normally say, but that's something I discovered. Um, it does help. Uh, why? Why is Toby Lacker, I'm just reading your comment. Hang on. Please can you send the links to your skill? Just just send me um if anyone's got a video, right, that wants to be seen, um go to my YouTube channel or uh Twitter or whatever and and just just write me a message, link the video up. If I like it, I like it, that'll give you exposure. Um but also, if I'm I'm looking for freestylers or some mad tricks and stuff, if anyone wants to let me use the video in one of my videos, then it will get instant views. And um, but yeah, send me the stuff because if you send me the stuff, then um, then I'll uh, I can use I could probably use it or or help you out. Um, greetings from Belgium, the home of Fellaini, Malesh, company, and many many more. Hazard, don't forget him. Um, I'll tell you what, Belgium are going to be one force very soon. Uh, what, what a bunch of players they've got. So if no one's aware of Belgian football, have a look at it because it's, they've got some great players within the Premier League. Everton have, have, got, have got a couple. Um, we've obviously got one at Chelsea. Um, but yeah, uh, and then Man City have got a company. Have a look. And, and they're amazing. Yeah, so Hariel... Real Mighty, I think that's how you say it. Um, yeah, class. Belgium are class. <clears throat> right, let's have a look. I'm from Honduras and looking forward to move to Europe to develop my soccer skills. Is STR an option? Look, STR is, is me. People forget STR skill school is just Steve Roberts. You know, like I'm a coach, but I can only spread myself out so far, and that's why I'm educating the world through through YouTube. But um, I would I would say um, if anyone's willing to travel to me, I'm happy to coach them. But you know, 
there are you're going to find coaches all over Europe or the world that are good. I mean, I can I can coach individual technique, um, but if you want to really make it, then you need to get yourself into an academy. I'll try and look at some open trials at a football club. If you can do an open trial somewhere, then you know you probably you know you if you're good, you're going to get spotted and you'll go straight in. Um, so look. Fabio Marcelo, I'd go for Marcelo. So Brazilian Brazilian players. Um yeah, I'd probably go for Marcelo. Actually. Quite a simple answer, I know. So you play FIFA and if so, PS3 or Xbox. Scott Steele, do you know what? I, I didn't have FIFA until last week and I just bought a PS3. So if you've got an Xbox, we're stuffed. But I'm just exploring that at the moment, but um, I also got a PS3 for different reasons as well. But um, but I wanted FIFA and made sure made sure I got it. But actually, I've played on it not much at all. And Leo, my eight year old, has actually been playing on it a lot. So so yeah, he's been dominating. Uh, uh, if you scored. The Beast, if you scored, what would your celebration be? It depends on how crazy the goal was. But you know what? Like, when, when I'm playing in games, like, when I played in games, like, I'd score, you know, I'd score a goal from, like, let's say, like, I played one debut game where I scored a goal from the halfway line. My celebration was always the same. I never used to love celebrating because I didn't like the limelight of everyone looking at me. So I'd kind of just put my head down or just, like, kind of, like, I guess it was, like, a messy thing. But he does that, I guess, because he's praying or something. I don't know, but I don't know. I should have done like the aeroplane or something like that, or just or a, a nani triple somersault. Scott, still, you've got a PlayStation. I need to set up the PlayStation network and stuff, but I'll uh, I'll keep that. I'll keep. I'll, I'll look at the comments. I'll keep the comments. Do you know what? I don't know if these comments actually stay on here. I've got to be careful because if they don't stay on here, then we're we're stuffed a little, aren't we? Because I'm not going to be able to find it again. Whoa! How many comments have I had? I've got a lot of people watching now. How many people are watching? Look, look! If you're watching now, just like the video. Like, like this. Like this thing, just the thumbs up, the old thumbs up it, thumbs up it right now, right now. It's on one six seven. Right, I'm going to refresh in ten seconds, and I want you to thumbs up this video. Right, God, what's going on with my thumb? Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> so I'm going to so thumbs up the video. Right, like it, and then I'll see how many people like this video and watch it. So I'm, I'm going to refresh. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's have a look. Booyah. All right. Okay. So decent amount. 167 to 194. That's cool. That's quite cool. Do you know what? I'm trying to go through these questions. There's so many questions now. We have the same toaster. Julep. Wow. I need to get a new one though, to be fair. It only does two slices of toast. But, um, Daniel cutting. Ah, Milton Keynes. All right, okay. Mr. Joe Harrison, you've said that Daniel cutting DC Freestyler, this is a lot of publicity for DC Freestyler at the moment, but um, I will check him out. Yeah, I will check him out. And. I would actually see his videos and if you know him or if you've seen his channel or anything, just comment and say that I'm going to be checking him out. And if he wants to appear on my channel, it's a good place to be. Uh, oh, well. Wow. 0502527 says, thank you for answering my questions. I currently play for Charlton Athletic. Do you think I can become a professional footballer? By the way, I'm 15, nearly 16. 
Raheem Sterling is 17, yet plays for England. Raheem Sterling is an amazing, a bit, uh, amazing talent, and a lot of people have put a lot of faith in him um, early on. I would say, you, I don't think some players even reach their full potential until they're 21, 22 years old. So just keep working hard. Trust me, keep working hard. Um, I would like to know your name. Uh, you don't have to leave it in the comments, but you can maybe, um, I don't know, private message me on Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash STR Skill School. Have a look at that, um, and, I'll, and I'll check you out. Or you can leave it on my YouTube channel. Just just comment me, send me an inbox message or something. Something, something. Um, what's your favorite trick? My favorite trick, actually, was the... Um, do you remember, it's quite an early video, uh, I can't remember if I called it the Ronaldinho trick, it's kind of like I roll the ball over my foot, the ball pops up, and then I used to catch it between my butt and my, and my heel, and, uh, and then from there I'd then flick the ball over my head like a rainbow from that position, um, but since my injury I cannot grip the ball. Uh, because my leg doesn't actually bend enough, so there's too much of a gap for, for me to catch the ball, and I'm gutted that I can't do that. That used to be my favourite trick, such a feel-good trick to do. And when you used to watch uh, even clips of uh, Ronaldinho do it on YouTube, he'd, he'd sort of fail a few times, because um, it is difficult, but that was my favourite trick. Do you think Liverpool can succeed under Brendan Rodgers, Scott Steele again? Uh, yeah, honestly, I think... I think Brendan Rodgers can succeed at Liverpool. Um, I, I think with him and uh, and the other coaches, they need time. I think people know they're going to invest time in Brendan Rodgers. Uh, they are playing certainly a different style of football. I hope he doesn't like sell certain players or bring in a, a player because they're a big name. There was Balotelli branched, you know, around, and he's not the type of player. That, that will suit Liverpool. So, um, so yeah, I mean, uh, I think, as I said, Brent, you know, Brendan Rodgers just needs time, and he's he's got the same philosophy of the Barcelona academy and uh, the Spanish squad because he's worked quite closely with them. So I think, and you saw what he did with Swansea as well, it was class. So I think that he'll do a good job for Liverpool if they give him the time needed. Uh, Ixi. Banda IXI. Hi, Steve. Hi. I can't say that name quickly, so I'm just going to say hi. Um, <laughs> come on in. Help him like Steve now. Make more large. I will do. Do you reckon I should do a live? I'll tell you what. Leave a comment. Would you like to see? Or like, thumbs this up. Thumbs this up. Right? It's on one night. Uh, let me see how many thumbs ups we got. I've got to refresh this now. Um, so it's on 196, right? If you're liking this and you'd want to see maybe a weekly live stream, it doesn't have to be as long because you've probably got to go to bed or something or you've got better things to do, um, then, then yeah, I think, I think I'll do more once, once a week. I could easily do one, a live stream once a week. That would be quite cool, wouldn't it? Um, well, if you like the video, that is. One more person's liked it right now. If you haven't liked it, like it, and I'll see. I will I'll catch you out. Free dislikes, though. Never mind. Uh, Steve, should I tweet you D D uh, DC freestyle number? We can search on Twitter. Uh, send me a tweet at STR Skill School and include his Twitter name if he's got one. And if he has, then um, then I'll just tweet him or something. What was the first team you got scouted for? It was at Twitch Town Football Club. They were a good club at the time, actually. Not doing so well at the moment, but they were like, they got they got into the Premier League like around about that time, and they had previously like massive history. So, um, so yeah, um, like I had the chief scout come and watch me for Ipswich. I've also had like Norwich, like local clubs, watch me, but it was always the same answer, like too small and stuff like that. But um, I mean, and what? I mean, now I'm like eight, uh, eight, eight. I'm not eight foot. I'm um, five eight, um, and 
and like if you look at the size of the Barcelona team, they're small, you know, that you know, as a majority. Um, but like the English teams back at my in the eighties, like early you know, nineties were looking for players that were six foot plus, you know, so you know, I had no chance. What is your favourite hairstyle in football? Well, I haven't really done my hair at the moment, but um I don't know. Favourite hairstyle? I haven't got a clue. I'm I've got, I'm gonna be quite honest with you. Um <laughs> so, so, oi, someone's actually someone's actually li uh, changed their like to a dislike so I can see that I had 197 likes and it's now changed to a dislike so if, if that was you not, naughty naughty um, but, uh, uh, but yeah thanks acrylic 47 yeah uh, what are your thoughts on Luka Modric Will it, oh no, I can't, no, I can't see the, no, I thought it was Modric, but it's not, I can't even see it, because it's got, I've got this big fat reply thing right in front of the name, so I can't even see, I can't even see, like, who that is. Oh, Lucas Mora, do you think Lucas succeed at PSG <laughs> with a dollar sign for the S? They, uh, they have got a lot of money, to be fair, in the next transfer window. Uh, I don't know if they're going to buy him, then you'd have thought they'd put faith in him and know he's a decent player. So, so possibly. Um, Scott Steele, do you pay attention to the Scottish Premier League? Um, I've been asked by the SPL to do some work for them and um, go and go and do some do some stuff. If anyone plays FIFA and knows of any Scottish Scottish players, like skillful players, I'd like to maybe meet up with them. But I know there are there are some. Um, good players and obviously you know Celtic and Rangers were the top clubs but obviously a lot's happened to Rangers recently but they were kind of the clubs that I paid close attention to but um, you know I never used to get why they'd have to play each other four times in a season because they're you know obviously there's not enough teams but you know that's Scottish football I guess um, right do you know what I'm getting so many I'm getting so many questions so many questions. Okay. Um, like the vid. Thanks. Thanks for liking the vid. Don't forget to like the vid. If you haven't liked the vid, like the vid. Now. Thumbs up. That's a thumbs up with the, with the dodgy. <laughs> thumbs up for the dodgy thumb. What's going on with my thumb? It's like at a wrong angle or something. Um, please answer, Steve. What should a right back have for qualities? Right, Raphael. It's not the Man United Raphael, is it? Um, right back should have speed, um, should be able to tackle. Um, I think a right back should be able to attack. So you should be able to maybe pass it onto a, a player further up the pitch and join in. They need to be able to cross the ball as well. Um, so you need good stamina to get up and down the pitch. So good fitness. So there are a few qualities that I've just mentioned there. Um, Mr. Joe Morrison, twelve, DC freestyler. You just told me his Twitter name. Can you actually tweet me um, with his name as well? Because I would like is someone. Is someone else? Or yeah, just tweet me. Tweet me his name or something. Because I just want. Like I said, I'm, I'll probably be lazy and um, forget. So if you can just tweet me his name at str to at the loop at str skill school. Tweet me and I'll uh, and I'll do that. God, what a joker! <clears throat> Did you guys? Are you guys happy with this? Do you want me to go? Because it's getting late here. I just, I'm just thinking. It's past my bedtime. By the way, Leo's got a game of football tomorrow, so hopefully he does well. If you haven't visited the little STRs channel as well, um, actually, they're they're skills that adults can do, and they're really good skills for adults. So um, check out the little STRs um, videos. Um, I will write that in the comments right now. And yeah, so I've just written that in the comments. Little STRs, have a look, check that channel out, subscribe to it if you haven't. Um, it's a growing channel. There's a lot of skills with Leo. I've also got a kid who's just turned six doing the rainbow flick as well. Um, so yeah, check it out. 
The Real Creeper says, I don't have Twitter. If you don't have Twitter, get on Twitter. You can talk to me so easily, really easily. Just check that out. Um, and I will answer your questions really fast. Do you know what? I'll answer your questions faster than I am on here because it's I'm getting a ridiculous amount. Um, Patik Adu, maybe, or Pakitadu. Uh, Prezana here. I got a partial ACL tear and the doc cleared me to play football without ACL reconstruction. But how hard should I strengthen myself? Peace. Really work on your muscle strength. Like really work hard. You can play without, you know, you can play um, without an ACL actually. Um, but for my profession and stuff, I, I wanted to have the surgery and everything. But um, I think I think that you should really uh, build up your quads and increase, you know, work on your balance as well. Because it's more when you twist and turn and plant your foot uh, after jumping, you know, that you can risk tearing your knee again. So um, just make sure that everything's okay and you feel 100% comfortable. If you feel any twinges and stuff, I'd recommend you just stop playing because you're going to, you know, because at the end of the day, you've got a weak ACL, so you're going to cause further injury. Um, okay. Yo, Baba. Yo, Baba. Okay, Steve, now I'll say goodbye because it's, is it 1 a.m., 1 o'clock, and I'm going to sleep. What hour do you have there? So it'll always like your videos. I'm waiting to tell. Uh, so... Yeah, the time here is 10.51 UK time in the evening. It is dark here, um, so it is quite late. I guess if you're in different countries, you've got different time zones, so it's late. But I said good night, goodbye if you are leaving. But don't leave me if you don't have to. Don't forget to like this video because I do want to... Because, yeah, I do want to see, uh, yeah, totally, I totally want to see if you like this video. So, like it. 207 likes right now. Um, hey, my little bro loves lit STRs. He wants to join, but we live in Surrey. Well, can learn online, learn the videos. Maybe, how old, tell me how old he is. Because if, he, if he's a certain age and he's a decent player, he might, be able to, he might be able to do some filming or something at one time, make it worthwhile. Uh, with players like Henri and Beckham going to the MLS, do you see any other aging players moving there also? I mentioned this earlier in the live stream earlier. I think I think you will get other players, but also from European clubs and stuff will go. Um, different internationals will go. Uh, <coughs> cool. Get some water. Other internationals will go over. Definitely. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It will, it will, it will rise. What does STR stand for? Partially... Uh, part of my name, um, STR, because my name's Steve Roberts, after all. And also, um, I thought that STR looked like star. I also thought that you could use STR within the word strength. Um, it's kind of a play on words, so I thought, um, you know, you can certainly use STR for different things. So it's not, there's no one real meaning. Even the ST and the R could stand for, I thought at the time when I wanted to use it, I could use it for different things. So STR in itself uh, is kind of like the brand name now. So STR really stands for the coaching, you know, the high quality, well, I like to say the high quality coaching and education that you're all receiving. So, you know, we all want to be STR players really. Um, Uh, did it? Yeah, please answer. You asked me to elaborate. Yeah. So register soccer. What should I work on when I'm training by myself? Um, yeah, it's difficult when you're training by yourself. You can need to work on your part, you know, your passing and stuff. But you could probably do that uh, up against the wall, maybe. Um, so you can pass up against the wall and um, you know work on different distances. Also, uh, you know you can chip the ball in the air and work on your control. Um, like we talk about ball manipulation moves, like moving the ball in different directions on the spot. You know, I'd say test yourself and test your abilities and try and focus on obviously game related skills. Um, I teach you a lot of skills that are not game related, that are just a bit of fun. But you know, the more you practice, the more coordinated you get in, and that'll make you a better player. So um, yeah, just 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 keep just keep you know practicing and, and ask your coaches or whatever what your weakness is, and then just work on your weaknesses. Um, 
I'm going to refresh this. I'm hoping there's going to be more likes on this video. Yeah, there was a few. Cool. AST. Reading, reading, reading. If you do get a chance to do something in the SPL with something, uh, please do something with Kilmarnock FC. We are talking to do something with all SPL clubs, so I would visit every club. But if you're in that area or any area in Scotland, then just I'll let you know where I am, and just don't be afraid to to go up and and just wait and meet me because I'll, I'll I'll have time for everyone. So um, yeah. Yeah, so just just come and sit. Like, if you ever see me, then just say hi. Um, reading questions. Right. Someone said, "What's your record of juggling?" Right. I tell you what. I always get so bored that I, I stop counting or I just give up because um, I don't know how these freestylers have that discipline to to just count every keepy uppy but I just get so bored in the end that I just want to do something crazy and then I either end up dropping the ball or just banking it like in the net or something. Um, someone said please answer me in big letters but I, I, I can't see your I can't see your message so just write it again but with maybe please answer me or something. Guys, do you want me to go? Because I'm, I'm, I said like I'm, I've been here for quite a while now. I don't want to run out of things to say. If you haven't seen these yet, I've got these. Uh, I'm going to do a review on these. These are the, um, these are the new Pele sports um, trainers. I've got they're made of leather, um, and I don't know if you can really see them, but you know they're just sort of a. Uh, they look sort of like your bog standard futsal trainer, but um, the soles of them actually look quite nice. They've got this kind of um, pattern on the bottom, and they're very like flexible. And then on the on the heel, they've got this kind of like cushioning thing here. Um, it's decent, you know. It's actually quite good. But yeah, I said the I got a box. It's kind of like an unboxing, like a live, like a live unboxing. I might do some live unboxings. Yeah, so there's the uh, there's a shoe. It's called the um, Pele Pele Radium Trainer, and um, they they actually retail at ninety nine pound, which is a lot of money. And I said I don't know whether I'd actually pay that much money. Um, it's a lot of money for a trainer. Like I've got the Adidas. Adidas top sellers, and uh, I really like those shoes. Not really nice. Uh, See you, Joe Harrison. Twelve, you're off. Uh, when you make a tutorial about knuckleballs, I've got a new tutorial coming out, a video coming out with loads of knuckleballs. If you go to Copper Ninety, um, I've just I, they film with me Copper Ninety football. Um, if you visit them on YouTube, you'll see um, like. You'll see my video I've made with them. You can subscribe to them, but they're going to put some footage of me doing some knuckleball shots. But I'm they they film me, and I'm going to use that footage for a knuckleball tutorial. So that answers that question. I did. Uh, Aaron Ballard, Ballard, a shout out. Hopefully, I got your name right the first time. Big up you. Uh, Boot giveaways. Yeah, who would want to see a giveaway? Like, I'm going to ask some of these companies if they want to give, like, if they can give me stuff to give away to you guys. Um, I've got some new exclusive boots to um, to show you at the end of the month that have not even been released in the shops or advertised. So when I get them, they're going to be very unique. All right. So, um, but I can't tell you what make they are. Um, Miss Pixel Gamer one, please answer. Oh, where is your original comment? Oh, here it is. Messi or Ronaldo fan? I've already, I've already answered this. It was like I was talking about um, both players. They're very, 
they're very individual and they have their strengths. Messi is a good role model for young kids to learn skills off, oh, not learn skills off, just to be very direct and to do the simple thing and, and score with his dribbling. Ronaldo is, um, is a good role model to say that if you work hard at your game and you improve your strength, your stamina, you know, and um, you know, your skill level, then you can make it pro. And so, you know, they're both great players. Like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, um, you know, I'm not going to say one's better than the other, but obviously the stats prove who's doing the best by who's scoring the most goals. <clears throat> um, how is Leo doing in his footy? I bet he plays for Barcelona. You know, he doesn't play for, you know, he doesn't play for a pro club. I've, I've not pushed him to do that, to do that. I've had people ask about how good he is and stuff. But I still know he's got a long way to go. I just want him to enjoy his football. And that's what everyone should do, enjoy their football. And hopefully if, um, you know, hopefully if the opportunity comes up and you're playing well, it'll get spotted. But, he, you know, he's only eight years old. So he's only just turned eight, so he's an under-eight player. Um, so hopefully he'll, um, you know, he'll get his chance, definitely. I mean, he's quite fortunate that he's got me as well because, like, I'm his dad. I, I, can, I can sort of mention him to anyone, really. Um, so, I guess little STRs is going to give them some sort of exposure. <laughs> Row seven soccer. Look at his dusty head. Is it dusty? I think it's just the lighting. Yeah, I think it's just the lighting. It's not dusty at all. Or is it that dusty? Because if, if that's dusty, I've, I've got to get my wife to clean it because I don't do that. Uh, what player would you compare yourself to? Right, I moulded my game over different players. So I could cross the ball like David Beckham um, and hit a long ball like him too. Um, I can do skills like George Best, who's a really old player, and um, also Ryan Giggs. And also I had the skills like Zidane. So it was kind of like, an, that was kind of like my all-round game. And also 1v1, I used to finish um, quite like um, Michael Owen in front of goal. And because I was a similar sized player as well, like 1v1, I could finish quite well. Um, but I would say my problem was I wasn't consistent enough when I played. And I would um, like, I would try things that were too difficult within a match and probably like fail at it. Um, so it's probably like I should have stuck to what I knew but when I was at my best I was really good but I wasn't as consistent as what I should have been uh, for a footballer and you've got to be consistent you know you've got to have good games week in week out um, yeah so that was a bit of a long winded answer sorry what do you think about the Bundesliga I think German football is great but Finn um, uh, you know, German. I said to p other people, I don't know too much about it, but I know like the German, you know, the German national team, and um, you know, they've got a good youth policy, and uh, they bring, you know, they bring players through. So, you know, I do admire how Germany have actually got a very strong group, and in years to come, they're going to have, you know, they're going to have some great, you know, some great, um, uh, you know, teams, and probably like win another World Cup. Um, Please answer. Hi, Steve. Sent it forward. I'm a coach. Who's this? One Duran. Um, please answer. I'm a centre forward and my coach never knows that I'm in the team and he thinks the most important thing is speed and strength. What can you do? Um, I'd say for a centre forward, you need good link up plays, so good control, so they can pass the ball up to you and you can be like a hold up player. Also, that you can bounce the ball off you to link up with mid midfielders and wide players. Um, ultimately, centre forward is scoring goals. You're going to get noticed if you score goals. But uh, sometimes some players are, are really good in that position because they assist and set up goals. So, um, so yeah, I mean, obviously, I don't know your game too well, and it's not all about speed and strength. It's whether you're technically can do well on the ball. Like someone like um, a Chikorito or um, I'm trying to think of someone maybe some like Messi's not like powerful, powerful, but He's just quick and can create things. So maybe um, you know, maybe that's something he's got to consider. That you know, if you do get knocked off the ball, um, you're going to get free kicks on the outside the edge of the area. You know, you might have a free kick taker that can bury them. Um, we've got Liverpool at the moment with Raheem Sterling. He's very slight and small, but 
you know, if he gets knocked off the ball, like he's going to win free kicks all day. So, um, so yeah. Right, guys. Do you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you now, like, um, and because I've been here for a long time doing this. Um, so what I will say, if you've got any questions for me, uh, you might not have a Twitter account, all right? But if you go to twitter.com, all right, and set up an account and follow me at STR Skill School. Um, so you just follow at STR Skill School, then I will answer all your questions individually and spend some time over the weekend doing that, all right? Um, but if you really like the live stream, then please leave a comment and um, and I'll look at doing them uh, again. But as I said, like a lot of my tutorials, you don't get to know me in person and hopefully you've got a little bit of an insight um, of how I work. So um, you can all say bye now on the comments if you like, okay? And and I will uh, I will log out now. So thank you very much and thanks for your time. And um, as I said, don't forget uh, if you haven't to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Twitter at STR Skill School or find me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash STR Skill School. Peace out.